Welcome to another round of Godzilla Unleashed. Today, it's Birth of Obsidious. Mechagodzilla 2's actions have triggered the emergence of a new monster, a lava creature from the fiery depths of Earth's very core. Obsidious, as scientists were quick to dub it, has crawled out of the volcano and is wasting no time in wreaking havoc. Mechagodzilla 2 is our only hope of driving the monster back into the volcano. So, this is the first appearance of Obsidious, one of the two monsters that are exclusive to this game and can be found nowhere else. Not in the movies, not in a TV show, nowhere else. Obsidious was also the reaction, was also the creation, sorry, of, uh, let's see, what was it? It was a big, uh, contest that was held to see which one of several monster designs was going to be in the next Godzilla game. Obsidious was one of them. A couple others were, uh, Fire, what is it, Giant Sphinx, Giant Ant Lion, Giant Alien, and a few other ideas. No, a Giant Lightning Bug, that was another one that I liked. But Obsidious was my favorite! Largely because I thought he looked cool, and uh, Obsidious won the poll. The other one we're going to be seeing later on. Obsidious has a moveset that's pretty much a duplicate of Orga's, although he has a couple of other tricks up his sleeve. For example, he spits lava out of his mouth, and he is immune to the lava in Seattle and highly resistant to fire-based attacks. So just keep that in mind. On the other hand, regular old energy weapons are pretty useful against him. And uh, he's not that great against uh, long, against short-range punches and kicks. He's pretty tough, but not tough enough. The monster goes round and round. Come on, you. Down he goes, and down you go. Come on. Nope. This should be simple enough. Just keep firing and firing and firing. One more good whack, and he's down! Ladies and gentlemen, he is out of there! 